Tonight, I want you to participate. And remember, this is your country. And that means we're all invested in the results of all these debates. Shannon Bream. Right. Up. You saw the story first here on Fox News at night. The Obama administration accused of turning a blind eye to Hezbollah's drug trafficking activities while it was pursuing the Iran nuke deal. Up next, the former DEA official at the center of the case responds to a major new development. Now, a follow-up on a story you saw first right here on Fox News at night. The Justice Department announcing today it is creating a task force to take a fresh look at drug trafficking and money laundering operations linked to the terror group Hezbollah. The news comes following a bombshell report that claims the Obama administration went easy on pursuing some of these Hezbollah drug peddling cases as it worked to lock in a nuclear deal with Iran. We want to welcome back Derek Malls, a former top DEA special agent who was involved in investigating and overseeing all of this uh, Hezbollah money laundering cases. It's good to have you back. Thank you, Shannon. Okay, so there was this allegation in the Politico report uh, that this may have been, some people thought, linked to the administration previously wanting to go easy on Iran while, or Hezbollah while they were working on the Iran nuke deal. Now today, the Attorney General Jeff Sessions says this. He says in an effort to protect Americans from both terrorism and the drug epidemic, the Justice Department will assemble leading investigators and prosecutors to ensure that all Project Cassandra investigations, that's what you were working on, as well as other related investigations, whether past or or present are given the needed resources and attention to come to their proper resolution. How did you react when you heard that? Very excited and very thankful for the Attorney General's leadership. Actually, he's done more in like a week on this issue than has been done for years, so I'm very excited. I look forward to seeing the results, but actually the most beneficial thing for the U.S. national security is John Cronin mm -hmm. will be leading the effort. He's mm -hmm. a former prosecutor from Southern District of New York. Uh, I know uh, a lot about him. He's very intelligent, very, very, uh, very smart, and he understands law enforcement mm -hmm. culture. He understands that you have to work together. But most importantly is that in 2010, the Southern District of New York broke down the walls between drugs and terrorism. That's what Preet Bharara, as the U.S. attorney, did. Mm -hmm. Why did he do it? because he wanted the best prosecutors in the world to work on the actual biggest threats to this country. So John is going to have the experience mm -hmm. to come in and actually go after these people really hard. Yeah, and you had spent years doing this and, and it uncovered uh, many cases in which there were people who were actually indicted. I mean, you had put together cases of, uh, of people who were funneling money and drugs in a way that was then giving millions of dollars to some of our worst enemies who were coming after us and many other free countries and, and individuals um, with sheer terrorism. That's what it was. It was being funded. Uh, but in, in many of these cases, you didn't get movement or resolve even though people have been indicted. Well, actually, one of the best examples is Ali Fayed. He was sitting in Czech Republic waiting to be extradited to the United States of America, just like previously when Victor Boot was extradited because the U.S. government rallied around, the, uh, the leadership got involved and went to the Thai government and said, we need Victor Boot back here. He's a national security threat. Well, Ali Fayed was in a hotel room in 2014 when I was still in charge talking about how exciting it would be to hold up an American's head. Okay? Also talking about using surface to air missiles to take out helicopters uh, down in Colombia. All right? So these people uh, are the people that we need back here to go to jail. And this particular guy, he was released. He went back to Lebanon. They had a kidnapping. They kidnapped five Czechs in Lebanon. And the deal was let go of Ali Fayed and his co-defendant and we'll let go of the uh, hostages. So despite your work, he has not been brought to justice. Now, last time you were here, I wanted to give you a chance to respond to some within the Obama administration who weren't happy about this story in Politico. Um, Tommy Veter, who used to be a spokesman for the NSC, said this. There are many reasonable critiques of Obama's foreign policy. The idea that he was soft on Hezbollah is not one of them. The story is so manufactured out of thin air that it's hard to push back except to say that it's a figment of the imagination of two very flawed sources you being one of those sources. Okay, well, let me just say, I don't know Tommy, but he was a spokesperson. He's a screenwriter, like he's a speechwriter. He's not an operator. He doesn't know the details of these law enforcement investigations. Again, Jack Kelly, who was the lead uh, DEA agent at my operation, and David Asher, and a bunch of other folks, very, very uh, you know, high-level contractors involved with following the money around the world, okay? We know what happened. We were in the cases. These people that like to talk in the Beltway just because they have nothing better to do. They want to do tweets to be popular out there. 
But you know what? They didn't do the cases. They don't know what the details are. Well, you do, and now it appears that many other people will know as well, because now that uh, the Attorney General is, is launching this with John, John Cronin, in which you have a lot of uh, confidence, we'll see where these cases go, but uh, we hope that it will bring some resolution to the work that, now that you're retired, all the work you did leading Well, I'm very this. confident in the current leadership uh, that's out there uh, involved with these cases. The key to this whole thing for success is what's the objective of the task force, what are the resources, who's going to be involved, and is there going to be directives from the top about cooperating and sharing between crime and terror cases. We know that coordination is very important and something that you worked on. So we will watch it. We know you will as well. Derek, thanks for coming back. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Good to see you.